So Dragon Ball Super episode 47 is now officially out and joining me here today guys is none other than my friend Geekless TV as we discuss and break down Dragon Ball Super episode 47 the beginning of the future Trunks arc alongside our predictions for episode 48 now quick spoiler alert guys if you guys haven't seen the episode tune off of this video right now because this video will have loads and loads of spoilers and surprises and erections over 9,000 because I am super high dude I know you're hyped about this I mean first and foremost we were right about a lot of things now again guys if you guys don't want to know what happens tune out right now now MJ my good friend how like like what what did you think of this episode because this was uh, if anything the darkest episode in Dragon Ball Super thus far so I wanted to know your thoughts on three things number one Bulma dying in which case we predicted and it came into fruition number two the person that we did not expect to die which was my what are your thoughts on that and number three towards the very end a very crucial line that I think a lot of people have forgotten and that's when black Goku told Trunks today is the day where you will die Saiyan he referred to him as a Saiyan so that raises a lot of questions because Saiyans don't call other Saiyans Saiyans so, what are your thoughts on this episode, dude? I'm so, I'm stoked, bro. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Um, there's one thing that I would like to say, though, say before I get into that, and that is the animation of this episode. Beautiful. Now, if you're one of those people who have been kind of like going in and out super because of animation issues, go watch this episode. It is amazing. I'd recommend waiting until the HD version comes with subs. Amazing, bro. It was like movie animation, bro. It was amazing. Absolutely, um, man. But, yes, the first, uh, first question. Uh, I mean, yeah. Bulma, bro. <laughs> we predicted it, and it came true, and sheesh. Right off the bat, too, I mean, I felt the feels, bro. I mean, like, it, there was that p uh, part of the show where they played, like, that music when they interacted with each other, you know, like, obviously something was going on between them. So they were, like, the, um, sharing a very uh, loving conversation. I assume it was about, about him leaving, you know, because that was the fuel, I believe. So... It was this amazing moment, but then to see her die, bro. And just think about this, man. She died at the hands of someone who looks like Goku. And Bulma's died. Exactly. Mind, and, and, and the fact that, imagine you put yourself in Trunks' shoes, man. You just saw your mom die. Your mom died. I mean, virtually you don't have anyone. Like, you're alone in this world. Yeah. Your friends are dead. Your father's dead. Everyone you know, your master who once taught you everything you know is dead. And now the only person you have left in this world, essentially, is now dead as well. And then exactly. just as we thought Mai was going to escape with him, she, she dies, dies too. too. Shit, man. Uh, what did you think of that? Tell me what you think of that because I was caught off fucking guard it, with like that, you, it, This needed to happen. People are going to say, well, you know, it was very predictable. Granted, yes, maybe it was a little predictable, but... Uh, something like this needed to happen to establish who the enemy was. Thus far, we haven't had an enemy, as we talked about in, in the previous videos we've done. Um, there hasn't been an enemy like Super Buu. There hasn't been an enemy like Kid Buu, who right off the bat came in and killed everyone. So, finally, yeah. we have someone who really does not care. With the exception of Golden Frieza, who blew up the planet, but that was out of desperation. This dude is killing off people left and right. He doesn't really care. Now, towards the very end, he said, Today is the day where you will die, saying... That raised so many questions, and, and that actually pans back to the intro because we saw that greenish black Makaioshin. Makaioshin. I still think he's a Makaioshin because I don't think Kai's necessarily look like that. I mean, if you freeze frame it, he has black clothing. Uh, he looks very demonic in a way, so I think that he definitely has influence onto this character that we've seen today. Uh, but going into next week, Little Trunks. Uh, meeting big trunks. How do you think that's gonna come about? Because he looks, he looks very shocked to even see, to even know that there there exists another him somewhere else. Because in Dragon Ball Z, he was a baby. He didn't really have any understanding. But now he's a little older. So, what are your predictions for next week? Because I think that Black Goku, Demonic Goku, Dark Goku, he's looking for Trunks, and I think that uh, he doesn't necessarily know where he is. Um, and that actually picks up to what what happened in this episode because Trunks told Mai he's now able to read my key so yeah. maybe this evil goku is able to evolve gradually th uh, throughout time maybe uh he grows uh as he you know destroys things we don't really know anything about him we don't know his origins we don't really we, we don't know why he looks like goku if that's goku people are saying it's goten people are saying it's bardock people are saying it's turles crazy ass theories but i think that <laughs> uh i think towards the end of next week black goku is going to figure out a way how to get back into the past and that's when things are going to get very crucial during episode 49 because next week episode 48 i think that everyone's going to gather together and we're finally going to learn what's going on so what are your predictions here 
I uh, I agree with you. I believe next week's episode is going to be kind of like an explanation episode. I believe when Trunks recovers, he's going to... Well, I guess to start off with uh, Future Trunks and Kid Trunks, I believe Kid Trunks is just going to be freaking out. He's not going to know what's going on. On top of the fact that there's another him, there's other Dan that's practically dead in front of him, so they have to like help him heal and recover and everything. You know, So he's freaking out. He doesn't know what's going on. And... I believe once he recovers, it's going to be a completely explanated video, if that's what you want to call it. It's going to be him explaining everything, like literally everything to everybody. And I believe towards the end, we're probably going to see that Black Goku figure out how to get back into the past. And I believe that Mikayo Shin is going to help him. I- I'm calling it a Mikayo Shin, bro. I just, it, it has to. It has to, to be it a Mikayo Shin. Shin. There is no there other explanation. Guys, pay attention to what was se- what was depicted in this episode because... I mean, first and foremost, I loved the destruction. I mean, people often say, oh, animation's for for kids, animation is gay. Was anything about this stupid destruction, chaos, desperation, these people were forced to eat dog food? I mean, who the hell, like, th- that's how th- that's how you know things are getting really bad, because if, if you're resorting to rationizing your food, you have no water, you're forced to eat cat food, dog food, there is no human food because everyone's dead, this was the episode that I think needed to be told, needed to be done in order to bring back a lot of fans who so-called left Dragon Ball Super because it was too cheesy, uh, because a lot of these internet fans want to complain about various things. Dragon Ball GT wasn't perfect, Dragon Ball Z wasn't perfect, Dragon Ball wasn't perfect, Dragon Ball Super's not perfect, but we're getting there, so, um, I think you're right, I think that, I think that whatever's behind Black Goku, because there has to be something, like, th- this, this just seems more than just a regular coincidence that this person looks like Goku, it just seems very odd to me, um, yeah. People have talked about, well, it could be the Goku that died via heart virus, and, you know, the Mikayo Shin or whatever being is behind, you know, bringing this person back to life must have found his dead body. I think that's a little too far-fetched, but then again, we don't really know. Um, but I, as you just said, I think that a lot of explaining is going to be done uh, next week, in which case a lot of us want to see, because certain people want to see fights. You can't have just fights for no reason, bro. There has to be an explanation. But my question yeah. to you now is, what's up with the earring, bro? It's one earring. He's not fully fused. So, what's going on there, man? What, what do you think? I have no idea. It, this just, it, it points back to the whole Mikayo Shin theory. It, it has to be a Mikayo Shin. That Mikayo Shin must have somehow created or mutated this being that looks like Goku, in my opinion. It has the one earring, so you're right. It's not a fused being. But, I, unless, unless once that Mikayo Shin is introduced... Presumably, I'm assuming within the next few episodes, if it is introduced, you know how much it was promoted in the intro. We saw, like, in three different shots in the intro, that green uh, Kai, whatever it is. Absolutely, absolutely. And I actually want to make a prediction for episode 49. I think that that's when Black Goku... Because I I don't think that he's going to be stuck in in, in the future for too long. Um, This is very... Dude, when, when I was watching this, this brought me back to Cell. This brought me back to Cell because this is exactly what Cell did. Trunks escaped first. Uh, Cell found a time machine, went back into the past. What happened today? Trunks went back in time. Goku stuck behind. What is Goku going to do? He's going to find himself a way to get back into the past. Compare it, guys. Compare Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball Super. Very similar. Very, very similar. So, uh, the theory here might be that this dark Goku is just like Cell. He's looking to complete his evolution. Why? Because why else would he have one earring? Think about that. Uh, when, when you have a Patara fusion... You create the ultimate being in, in, in an essence. I mean, not everybody you fuse with yeah. earrings is going to get stronger. You can't fuse Yamcha and Monaka and create the ultimate being. But with, with, with by having two <laughs> of the right people, two of the right fighters combined, you're going to create the ultimate fighter as seen with Vegito. So, maybe this dark Goku has one earring on his ear and one in his pocket somewhere on him. And maybe he's looking to complete his evolution. Maybe he loses. Maybe he does lose against Goku, Beerus, Champa, Vegeta, Hit. Whoever shows up to fight, maybe he does lose, but towards the very end, sometimes, you know, it doesn't really take brute strength to win a battle. Maybe he outsmarts them, maybe he clips the earring on somebody, in which case allows him to fuse with someone, making him immensely stronger than we ever thought would happen. So, I think episode 49 is when he's finally going to make his way uh, into the past. And that's when everyone's gonna encounter him. Um, I cannot wait to see Vegeta encounter him because we just. Got I was just gonna Vegeta, say that, and, and that was a little yeah. But this is where Vegeta's gonna be like, all right, well, I've always wanted to kill you, and I've never liked you, but I've always kept to myself because I needed you around. But we don't really need this guy around, so please give me the privilege to kill him off before anybody else. So exactly. I would love that. But for episode forty-eight, episode forty-nine, what do you think is gonna transpire? Because I think I think they're gonna explain 
a lot of who he is and what's yeah. behind this black being because he was there for a long time. Bulma was making the fuel for about a year, so they, they were hiding in about a year. So what do you think is going to happen during 49 here? Because if he shows up during 48, what's happening during 49? Like, what do you think here? Uh, I would just like to add to your Vegeta thing. I got so much hype towards the end when I saw Black Goku because when we all met Frieza, I thought to myself... When Frieza was like shitting on everyone, I was like, I just can't wait for Goku to get here and meet this character and, and just knock him in the face. The same with Cell. Once Cell absorbed Seventeen and called himself the perfect or imperfect being, I was like, I just can't wait for Vegeta to come out the chamber and knock this dude in the face. Now I'm like, I just can't wait for this dude to come in the past and just watch Vegeta just pop him right in the face. You know what I mean? Like I just want to see them fight and interact with each other guys but, it's getting very serious and as and as mj just said i mean you're getting me i i, I you see i this is why i can't do discussions with you 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 keep, you keep getting me hyped up like I'm, I'm about to like flip my table and like punch my mom in the face because <laughs> having to envision having to envision super saiyan blue vegeta rushing up and just knocking this dude in the face can you imagine like visually how that would look because vegeta always he always had a grudge towards goku for for him being stronger and now that there's another goku even stronger than him come on bro he's gonna be like i'm done with this shit i'm killing somebody whether it's yeah. the real goku whether it's the demonic goku i'm killing one of y'all so i think that if there was ever a time this would be it but i'm calling it right now i'm calling it weeks in advance i i, I really hate to say this i really hate to say this but it, i mean it's not like i have anything against them but I think towards the end, guys, our main hero is once again going to be Goku. I mean, if anybody wants to refute that, if you want to refute that, MJ, let me know. But I think it's going to be Goku. So, towards the very end, name any character here. It could be Champa, Whis, Fados, Hit. It could be Kaba. It could be Yamcha. Uh, who do you think is going to be the one to finally put this character down? Is it Goku or is it going to be someone else? What do you think Akira is planning here? I can probably see it being... Um... Goku, but I feel like something might happen to Goku where we're not going to see him fight as much as everyone else. Now, I, I, I have been having a theory for a while now. I've always wondered if, and this, I got this thought of this after our last discussion, I wonder what if Goku gets fused with this bean and it creates like an ultimate Goku somehow. But then That's we, scary. But That's then we, scary. But then we were already shown that the Dragon Balls can defuse Batara. So well, I mean the Super Dragon Balls. Then again, I, I it it convolutes itself because, all right, let's say we do have the ultimate Goku. I mean he would be so strong, bro. I don't think I, I don't see the gods stopping this dude. But then again, in this episode it was said that Zeno was the strongest. Period. End of story. But he doesn't fight, so it raises a lot of questions there. Maybe Zeno versus Ultimate Goku. We don't know. Um, we don't know. But you're right. Maybe maybe by some chance because a lot of people can't. People can't go against our theories here because a lot of our theories have been proven correct or a lot of these fan fictions have come into fruition, which is pretty scary because nobody and their mothers thought like five, ten years ago that there would be an evil Goku. And ta-da, here we are in 2016 with an evil Goku. So yeah, uh, this is this is going to raise lots of questions, as you said, with Goku and the earrings and the Dragon Balls. I think that they're going to have to gather up the super giant Dragon Balls because I don't think Purunga or Shenron are going to be able to do this, um, nor do they have the capacity to like unfuse someone. But... I think a much greater power is going to do so. As we talked about in the previous episode with, uh, you know, them pairing off into groups and stuff. Um, but, I mean, I I'm just as hype as you are. Cause I, I can tell by your voice. And I'm reading some <laughs> of these comments from my reviews uh, on the episode right now. And people are just, like, they're, they're wetting themselves. And I don't blame them at all because right now I'm about to get up and just, like, fap off to this because it was just great. It was that good. Um, oh, it, oh, oh it, it you know what just hit me? You know what just hit me? The Namekian Dragon Balls, they can defuse. They defuse Kabito Kai. I just Wait, can they? Uh, we're talking about Purunga here. Yeah, Peruga, he defused them in the manga. I'm not sure if they did it in the anime, but uh, in the manga. The manga. Well, I'm not, yeah, I don't think they did it in, in the anime as well, but if they did it in the manga, then it, that, that'll make more sense, and, and it'll take less effort for them to search for the, you know, the Mechian Dragon Balls rather than the Super Giant Dragon Balls because they're located in two different universes. Exactly. Um, but I'm, I'm calling it right here, man. I think that our guys are going to need help. I think that Universe 6 is going to come back in terms of who we saw in that yes. tournament. Yes. I think that at least, at least we're going to see... Kaba and Hit return, and I'm telling you right now, if Hit returns, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about this. If Hit returns, exactly. there is no reason in the world why Hit should not implement his killing technique into wiping this person out and assassinating him right then on the spot. But the question is, can Hit, with his assassin abilities, no rules, take this guy down? We don't know. We're gonna find out if that if it comes down to that, which I really hope it does. I'm getting goosebumps talking about this. Any final words before we go, bro? Uh, that's it. I'm hyped, bro. <laughs> I'm 
I'm uh, yo, I, I, I need to take a cold shower because like that, <laughs> I, I, I need to stop the chills, man. Like that was great. If you guys enjoyed the episode, if you guys enjoyed the discussion, smash that like button. If you guys love Black Goku, if you guys love what happened in this episode, smash that like button, guys. Check out Geekless down in the description. Subscribe to him before he goes back into the past, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Once again, tune in for our next discussion, and we'll be seeing you all later. Take it easy, guys. Peace.